Hey, what's going on guys? Waf here bringing you episode 3 of Gearing Up. Here's the gear that we currently have and the gear that we are looking to get. Hope you guys enjoy. Bleh. Forty forty. Uh nearly got me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm gonna start heading back to Slayer. I've had this Abyssal Demon test forever, so I'm just gonna pretty much do I'll probably just do it in the catacombs. I'll do Sire like whenever I feel like it. I don't even have very many arc light charges anyway, so uh, I'll probably just, you know, do that later. But since I am going back to Slayer, I would like to sell off my loot tab and I should be able to afford my SGS. I might have to sell some random things. But uh, I should be able to buy back my SGS, which is one of my major goals, so... Uh, yeah, let's see if we can afford it. Selling off a few things. Um, none of the really important stuff. The main thing that I sold off that I kind of didn't really need was my Ballista. And I'm going to try to buy this for about 44.9 mil. I think is about what it's going for, so hopefully it sells. 44 point... Okay, got 5 GP back. Nice. But there is the SGS back, so we now actually have an SGS and a Dragon Warhammer, which is cool. We, this is the first time we've had that, so... Uh, next purchase, probably going to try to buy back my Varix. Oh yeah, I did, I did sell my Varix, I forgot to mention that. But uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good on, on items, I guess. To now buy our Void Melee Helm. Um, almost done with our Void set. Mage Helm is pretty much useless, so I'm not really going to be focusing on that. Probably have a bank pin, right? Yep. Feels bad. So, um, Void Melee Helm. I guess I'll, I'll put it there. Something like that. Um, but yeah, Void Melee Helm is now there. We can use that for Corp. And uh, we can actually do the Void setup for raids. I'll probably actually try that out at some point. Uh, the Elite Void will definitely come in time. Uh, just as of right now, it's not a huge priority, but I will I will work on it kind of on the side. Just Slayer and uh, picking up an Abyssal Whip right away. Pretty nice. Good feeling, I guess. Um, I'm just doing extremely casual Slayer, not even like flicking or anything. Just, I don't know, it feels kind of nice after all the time that I've been spending bossing, just kind of chilling out, just doing some of this, trying to get some uh, charges for my arc light, I guess, and potentially get like an imbued heart or something random from, uh, I guess, uh, superior monsters, yeah. Night Slayer, can't really talk very loud, apologies for that, but finish up that task, we get neck reels, not bad, I'll probably uh, do them in the catacombs, I know I sound really, really high or something right now, but eh, it's late at night, so I gotta, gotta chill out, you know. Oh, 100 dry now. Yay! Yay! And a torn prayer scroll. Yay! Yay! Hey, at least I'm at like 200k. I'm gonna go neck myself now. Yes, guys, yes, guys, yes. K points. Come on, we deserve something. This is like a beautiful raid. Come on. Yes! Oh, finally! We got a reward. A drop. <laughs> a drop. I don't even care. I don't care. It's, okay, <laughs> I'm honestly a little bit angry that it's in Ninja's name. Yeah, me too. A little bit. Me too. But we it's got okay. a drop. We got a drop. Let's go. Let's go. Yay. I can get a split. Yay. <laughs> An actual item. Ninja's like, well, fucking shitty ass item, man. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> We're over here like, yes. Nice. At 23.6 mil. Not a bad split. Um, good reward. Finally something from raids after over 100 dry. Yay. Actually, I mean. Ninja. Do you have 20k points so you can, you know, steal our twisted bow? Oh! oh! Nice! Oh! <laughs> Today's hey! the day. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm glad I decided to do some raid. That's pretty good. Nice. All right, the luck is coming. It is back. Yes. Here it is that was here. A good time too. 38 minutes. Yeah, considering I'll I died. It. I'll take it. Hey, feels fucking good, man. So, 61.6 mil split on that. Oh my goodness, that is a great way to rebuild the bank. I'm finally starting to make the bank that I really should be making from raids. And that, that really just motivated me right there to want to continue doing raids. Like, two right in a row. Oh, we're going for the back-to-back, -back. I don't even care. Okay, so apologies right away for how I sound. It's really late and I'm tired. I just felt like finishing off my neck real task. Finish it off. What are we gonna get next? 15 steel dragons. Um, I might as well do it just because it's you know fast task and free points. It's in PVM adventures this episode where I've kind of had some pretty ridiculous luck. I mean not just this episode but last episode as well. We actually have a pretty sizable cash stack. If you would like to know, 145 mil. So um, I'm actually I've been sitting here for a while wondering what I need to invest some of this in. 
Um, obviously my prayer is only 85, and I would like to get max combat at some point, so I'm not really sure. I might, I'm either going to go for like 90 prayer, 95 prayer, potentially 99, depends on how much it costs. I don't want to spend like my entire cash stack on it, but, um, I will definitely want to get my prayer up, and then, uh, I'm not too sure what I'm going to spend the rest of it on. I actually decided on 90 prayer, which is going to cost me around 23.8 mil, depending on how much these buy for, of course. Um, I think that 23.5 mil, not even bad. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna actually be working on that. I'll probably just use somebody else's house because I'm lazy, but um, Yeah, that is going to be 90 prayer banked. I looked it up 99 prayer is almost my entire cash stack and I'd rather not spend my entire cash stack on it. So uh, I'll just work on 90 for now Come on Come on eh. Please Whew. So just decided to do a solo raid um <laughs> never doing that again but I, I just wanted to do it once so I could... Oh, come on. A solo dark relic. Dude, that could have been something. Um, unfortunate. Um, time, obviously, was very bad. I messed up a lot. Um, it was kind of fun. It was it was a bit of a challenge. I just wanted to challenge myself to do one solo raid. But, um, unfortunately, it didn't go too well. Might try it in the future, but, yeah. I'm definitely not taking Void next time. And uh, definitely making a few adjustments. But it eh, wasn't too bad. Ooh, that's clean. It's an attractive that. time. Oh, Dark Relic, hey! <laughs> oh, tell me how that... Alright, let's see. Let's oh, see how I got this... one too. Yeah, alright. What skill am I going so, with here? I guess, yeah, I guess let's test this out. Does it tell you how much XP you're gonna get, or no? I don't think so. Alright, so let's test out new Dark Relic. Nope. 12,000 mining XP. Damn. 4.5k runecraft. Oh, it, it, it doesn't even, uh... It gives you a little warning thing. That is so nice. 3850. And root crafting, not even bad. That's beautiful, dude. Nice. Feels good, man. Wow, that was a really bad time. Oh yeah. Kind of Another dark relic. What the hell? Another one. Did they like increase the drop rate. drop rate of them or something? I'll put it on mining yeah, this time and see if I get more. Do this. All right. So yeah, the theory, by the way. So I have 22k points. So theoretically, nice. I should get. Uh, I'm gonna spend a little bit of my cash stack, I think, and uh, buying a twisted buckler. I think is a good investment because I'm doing a lot of raids and it's also really good for like Sarah and stuff like that. So I'll let that sit for about four seven point three. I think that's about what the price is supposed to be as of right now. So um, yeah, I'll see if this buys. If not, I might raise the price a little bit. But four seven point three mil, probably gonna be spent on this. One thirty. Uh, I guess I'll I'll just start like recording like every ten raids or something. Um, raid one thirty. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and also spend some of my money and buy a spectral because it's actually uh, been buffed recently and it's pretty damn good. And uh, I do need to do some Zami. I still need to do a lot of Cerberus. So I think Spectral is something that I will need in the future. So I might as well buy one, get it out of the way. And uh, it'll pro if anything, it'll probably go up. If not, then I doubt I'll lose too much on it. Okay, yeah, so going to be doing a little bit of Armadil. Dave has a task, so we're going to be doing it. And uh, I still haven't had a drop from Armadil, which is kind of sad. But uh, yep, hopefully we get a little bit of luck and uh, can make some back from this trip. Okay, so I just realized that I did not have my... Uh, replay buffer thing on but there's an armadillo hilt uh my reaction is not very great because um it, we've been really dry here this is like four trips in a row you never make money at armadillo you don't do armadillo for money whatsoever and i apparently this boss just does not want to come over here but uh yeah armadillo hilt pretty nice it'll be a good split at the end and uh it, it's finally gonna be you know i, I don't know some money made here <laughs> yeah i'm at 50 so thanks Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. That's perfect, dude. This is why you don't crossbow, ladies and gentlemen. That's perfect. Just... What the fuck? What even is that drop, dude? I've never seen that here. What even is that? That's RDT. I forgot to mention, we're actually just starting up a Sarah trip. I figure I should probably mention that so that if I do get a drop, which I'm not really expecting a drop because we've been really lucky here, but if we do get a drop, I'd, I'd kind of like to have a little bit of background for it. So yeah, Sarah trip. I stole the Sarah Domain's light. We got one. It's mine. Whoosh. I submit to the light of Sarah Domain. It's mine. Hello. Ah, lag. Lag. Oh, oh my god. Can yes. I have this one? Yeah, you can have that one. <laughs> <Yes>. God damn. <laughs> I told you if we haven't had one. Like if it was bound to happen, right? Like uh... Okay, so before I end the episode, I'm actually gonna go ahead and make a few more purchases as you can see. 
got back my uh, Talk to Staff of the Dead and the rest of my full Varix, so I just figured, I was looking over at the like chart and just figured, hey, I might as well get those back because they're actually pretty cheap. And uh, I'm probably going to also buy my Carols back, actually. I didn't notice that I didn't have that. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and go and see how the bank is looking and what items we're kind of going for. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy um, made quite a bit of progress this episode. We we purchased the Twisted Buckler, the Spectral Spirit Shield, um, some of our Barrows armors back. We, we overall, we just got a lot of stuff done. Uh, next purchase is probably going to be either an Arcane um, or some Ancestral pieces. I would love to get some Ancestral pieces, like get my hands on a couple of those, um, particularly the Robe Top and Bottom. Not sure if I will actually be able to get that in the next episode because that's about like 400 mil and I, I highly doubt I will be able to get that in the next episode unless I solo a twisted bow or something, which, wink wink, that'd be nice. Anyway, um, so yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, feel free to leave a like, it helps me out a lot, and I'll see you guys in a few days with the next episode. Peace out.